This here is a literal Nazi video. Now, I don't know if I could play this with the sound up because the sound is copyrighted. But this has been going around a lot, so let's kind of turn this on. I want to I want to show this to you guys. It'll be silent. But this is a, the latest another video to come out of the Ron DeSantis uh, campaign. Now, you can kind of see some anti-Trump stuff. You got your Wojak guy. They're talking about COVID vaccine, coronaviruses. Wojak is sad. And then it's like, oh, Trump. Oh, I'm sad, Trump. And then the door opens, and it's Ron DeSantis. Which, I got to admit, you know, the video actually is animated rather well. It's showing Ron DeSantis with a bunch of hot chicks that don't tread on me thing, firing off missiles and stuff. Wojak is happy. Make America Florida. That's fucking horrible. Then all of a sudden... <laughs> then all of a sudden... Wait a second. What is this shit? There's fucking... Mr. Wojak is, is in a soldier uniform with I think that is that the flag of Florida attached to his hat I guess so all right the city space shuttles taking off I guess that's because of Key West right all right here's some more headlines blah 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 this is more stuff all these headlines are bad things that I would say like anti uh, LGBTQ things that kind of thing. What was that shit in the background? Wait a second. There was somebody getting kicked or something? Hang on a second. What was this in the background? Did you see that? Like, all right. Like, right. Okay, these are footage of, like, cops breaking through windows and shit. Like, and what is this? Why did this guy just get tackled here? Like, what is that supposed to be? Is that, is that like, some kind of viral video I've never seen before? It's like a clown getting tackled? I don't know. Then the whole thing ends with this. Ends with this. This is the state of the flag of Florida behind a white supremacist symbol. I can't remember exactly what that's called. You know, let me look it up because I know it's going to bug me if I don't look up what the symbol is. Let's see. Let's do Ron DeSantis. Nazi symbol. Let's see. What is it called? Video footage, blah, 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 blah. Shirt clip with Nazi. Okay, it's called a Sonorad or Sun Wheel. That's what that is. And it is a... It's probably the second most... Or maybe third most popular white supremacist symbol behind the Nazi swastika and like the SS this thing is used by all kinds of just like sort of white supremacist, white nationalist organizations. And they have it twirling around Ron DeSantis' head while soldiers march. I mean, I don't think you could get more Nazi shit than that, right? Now this, this video here, like, first off, let's kind of go through it a little bit. <laughs> it's all like let's it's all just right wing shit you know here we go Trump has not built single mile of new border wall since taking office it's like this is all Nazi shit Trump's promises of millions of deportations is yet to be fulfilled like I think that headline was just made up because Donald Trump straight up like kicked out millions of people I don't know if you've heard the story about how construction work in Florida is not getting done because they DeSantis signed a, a law that would prevent undocumented workers from working there, like a really draconian, draconian law that cracks down really hard so all the undocumented workers left, and now shit's not getting built in Florida. I don't know if you guys heard about that, like, construction, you know, there's like no workers there to, like, work. <laughs> and people are suffering fucking hard, like, that's what happens when you kick out all the, you know, all the... Um, undoc you know why, folks? You know why we need undocumented labor in this country? Why? Because it's cheap. It's cheap labor. Undocumented labor actually subsidizes our economy, right? The reason why 
you can go buy tomatoes and you can buy them for a couple of dollars for a pound versus like 13 bucks a pound. The reason why you can do that is because of the cheap labor that undocumented immigrants provide, right? The reason why you can go to a subway and get a sandwich for five bucks, that's why. Because all of the vegetables and the meat in that sandwich and the bread in that sandwich, all that food was the labor that uh, allowed that food to get to your to your plate so cheap came from undocumented laborers, right? That's why, you know, because that's why beef is so cheap in this country, because all of the beef packing plants, they're like, they hire like pretty much 90% of the workers in those plants are undocumented labor. And that's why beef is so cheap because they, because they pay those people nothing. That's why vegetables are so damn cheap in this country. That and, and also farm subsidies as well. But that's why it's so cheap. That's why a, a sandwich will cost you, you know, well, I guess now a sandwich will cost you 10 bucks, 10 or $12, depending. But instead of 25 you know, which if it were actually like, if you actually were paying all these people a living wage, that's what it would cost. And you know something? That's what it should cost. It should cost that much, right? Because we should be paying people a living wage. But so there you go. The it's because capitalism is fundamentally broken in the United States. It's completely fucked up, and I don't know if there's any way to actually save it at this point. <laughs> right? I mean, maybe we should do without it. I don't know. I'm open to that discussion. But, uh, yeah. Moving on here. Oh, here you go. Trump is just too woke. Trump is just too woke. Here's another one. Trump defends response to coronavirus, saying he's not firing Fauci. I'm guessing, is this a real actual headline or whatever? Like, I, what now, what exactly is this headline supposed to mean? Like, what what are they trying to make you feel when they say this, right? Because, you know, the, the right wing, they don't believe that coronavirus was a problem to begin with. They They were telling us it was all a hoax. Even back in April of 2020... When the shit first started, that April 2020 is like right when like they started doing, you know, they tried to lock it down and all that stuff. Right when the deaths were spiking, when it was the worst and like healthy, normal, ordinary people who were like 30 years old were dying of fucking the coronavirus. Like because it was all like brand new and nobody had any any vaccines or anything. They wanted to fire the head of the CDC. I'm kind of glad Trump didn't fire him, right? <laughs> like, why would you fire the guy in charge of protecting you against a pandemic when the pandemic just fucking started? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I mean, I thought it was all a hoax to begin with. Maybe it was a bioweapon. That's another thing that the fucking right wing people are saying. So which one is it? Was it a hoax or is it a bioweapon? Or is it both? Or is it really the vaccines that kill you? Like, what the fuck is going Like. That's a problem with conspiracy theorists. Like, they can't even get their own shit straight. So, how... What am I supposed to be mad at here? <laughs> Explain this to me. I don't understand. And then, of course, here's Ron DeSantis to the rescue. More stuff about Ron DeSantis being anti-gay, anti... You know, bigoted, all that. Governor Ron DeSantis announces nearly 11,000 foreigners repatriated after attempting to enter Florida illegally during Biden's border crisis. This is first off the like incredibly bigoted headline here that somebody just made this up. <laughs> you know, Biden's border crisis. That's bullshit. Like somehow the the nanosecond Biden became president, we had a border crisis. And like five minutes before, oh, there was no crisis at the border. No, no. And then, oh, wait, Biden's the president. They were all waiting. All the all the people from Mexico and like Guatemala and Colombia and all those other places, all those people that are trying to get asylum, they were just all waiting at the border, waiting for Trump to leave on midnight of January 22nd or whatever. It's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> right. Biden's the president now. Let's go. Let's make a crisis. It's like such bullshit. I don't know. Governor DeSantis' conservative takeover of a liberal arts college could silence diversity, critics say. That sounds like that should be illegal, doesn't it? Like, why is DeSantis... How can he take over a college? He's the governor of the state. He doesn't run the college. Is that right? Can the governor do that? Can the governor just go to a, a, a college? Like, I'm guessing, is it a state college? Let's say it was a state college. I know if it was like a... 
you know, independent, like, private college, he wouldn't be able to do that. So is he able to just go into a state college and just fire everybody? And, like, I mean, that seems like that would be a little out of line. I mean, so the governor is the governor of the state. He doesn't run everything. Like, like the governor is not allowed to come down to, like, say, your local mayor and fire the mayor. He's not allowed to do that. He's not allowed to just go to the, your sheriff station and fire the sheriff and like, fire all the cops and then like force the force out the fucking like fire chief. You're not allowed to do that. Aren't the boards of directors of a of a call like a state college aren't those people elected? I thought they were. So, how the fuck can the governor fire someone who has an elected position? doesn't really work that way, right? I don't know. That I mean, that seems very much a sign of just the authoritarian kind of regime that DeSantis would have if he was president. Like, if he can't... If he can do shit like that and get away with it in Florida, like, think about if he was president. What kind of fucking ridiculous shenanigans would he do? What, what's he going to take over next if he just doesn't like what? Is he going to come to California and just, like, take over Los Angeles because it's, like, a sanctuary city? Is that what he's going to do? Is he going to take over, like, you know, San Francisco and just, like, kick everybody out? Get rid of the mayor, get rid of the police chief, get rid of the, you know, fire chief, all those people, and put in his own fucking people? Is that even possible? <laughs> right? Is that what he's going to try to do? Because, like, what? Because he... There's too many gay people there or something? Why would any... Buddy, like, I don't understand why somebody would see this headline and think that's a positive thing. Like, the only way that you would is if you were a fucking fascist. If you were, like, a fascist authoritarian, and this is what you wanted, and you didn't want people to have freedom. Right? I mean... And then this shit just, like, melted on home here. I mean, you can't get any more blatant. You might as well put a Hitler mustache on him. And like a swastika on his forehead. <laughs> right. You got goose stepping fucking goose stepping fucking soldiers with like you know this giant like it's like it's a radiating over his head like he's fucking fascist Jesus or something. <laughs> I don't know. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Turns out let's go ahead and turn this shit off for now. Turns out that this video was not created by a fan of Ron DeSantis. Because that's what they tried to make it look like. They made it look like, oh, the, uh, this was a fan account, a fan-created video. And then the DeSantis campaign just shared it by accident. That's not what happened. An actual DeSantis staffer created that video. One of the guys who was being paid on his staff. And in fact, the other responsibilities that this staffer had was being a speechwriter for Ron DeSantis. So, if you're wondering, you know, how the far right, the alt right, how they sort of intermesh with traditional conservative politics, it's like there's no distinction any longer. It's like, for a long time, these people seemed to be just sort of on the fringes. You know, they were on the edges. They were people like Nick Fuentes or whatever. You know, they wouldn't allow them into CPAC, so, they had this, so he created his own, little, his own little party, you know, APAC or whatever the fuck they call it. That kind of thing. And for a long, long time, you know, the, the establishment conservatives were happy taking these people's money and using their vault you know using them as volunteers and stuff like that and they would occasionally pay lip service to them with like maybe an advertisement or something once in a while or maybe a dog whistle here and there but for the most part they just sort of ignored them like through the bush years for example you know like uh people like people like this were always saying like they were the ones who were trying to like get George W. Bush to like persecute Muslims or whatever and Bush wouldn't go for it, you know, Bush was you know, we're not going to like, you know, even though he gave them some dog whistles here and there, but now it seems like seems like the the establishment Republicans, the establishment GOP are these people. Like they've they've all grown up and they've gone on to get jobs <laughs> right in the GOP as as staffers and speechwriters and other things for 
politicians. And uh, now there's no distinguishing anymore. So once again, folks, and I know I, I end up saying this an awful lot, but you need to get out there and vote. You need to get out there and vote because these are the people who are in charge, right? If this guy is writing, you know, speeches for Ron DeSantis, what do you think is going to happen if Ron DeSantis wins the presidency? Do you think this dude is just going to go away? No, he's not going to just go away. They're going to give him a job in the administration doing one thing or another. This person, you know, this, this fucking Nazi, Nazi piece of shit who made this ridiculous fucking video would go on to be, be in charge of something important, which will affect millions of people's lives. Yeah, maybe he might not get a fucking cabinet position, but you don't have to be the boss in order to get your agenda enacted. Like, you don't have to be, like, Secretary of Education, right? You just have to, like, work within the, you know, within that organization in order to basically enact your agenda. That's all you have to... It just, just having someone working in that organization is, like, giving these people too much fucking power. Then they get to decide how policy is enacted, and that's what they want. That's what the, the right wing, the Nazis, you know, the people like Nick Fuentes and Milo Yiannopoulos and fucking Ali Alexander and all these other like white nationalist pieces of fucking shit. That's what these people have been trying to do for decades and decades and decades. And now they're starting to pull it off. So this guy, you know, DeSantis is just as fucking dangerous as Donald Trump. Right. I mean... It doesn't look like he's going to win, but you never know. I mean, at this time next year, Donald Trump could be rotting in a fucking jail cell. God willing, he will be because he deserves it. So who do you think, you know, if that happens, if, if like the miracle happens and, and Trump actually does go to prison, who do you think the Republicans are going to, who do you think they're going to turn to? Are they going to like what, Mike Pence? Pfft, no, Mike Pence ain't going to be the fucking president. They're going to go to Ron DeSantis. <laughs> they'll go to the second in charge, right? I think that is kind of Ron DeSantis' like, hope. That's kind of his only hope of actually winning now is that if Trump goes to prison. I mean, let's face it, because he's not going to be able to beat Trump fair and square, and he knows it. He knows he's not going to be able to beat it. I think he's just sort of hanging in there and hoping that you know, Trump ends up in the fucking big house wearing an orange jumpsuit, and then he can just sort of, sort of like slide in and be like, well, well you guys all wanted me anyway. Right. So it's important, folks. It's important. You have to do every method and use every tool in the shed in order to stop fascism from taking root. Trump may have been the person who introduced fascism to the mainstream in the United States, but he's not the only one, and he's not the worst one by far. He's much too self-serving to be an effective fascist. Donald Trump doesn't really give a fuck about any of this shit. He just cares about power and personally enriching himself. That's what Donald Trump cares about. Donald Trump cares about money and be and every having everybody love him. That's all he cares about. Personally enriching himself. Ron DeSantis actually seems to want to actually hurt people. And in in my opinion that makes his ass more dangerous. And these these ads that he's got going here, I mean, and the policies that he's enacted in Florida, like, they speak for themselves. The man needs to be defeated. I mean, if anything, I would even say that we should unelect his ass in Florida. We should work as hard as possible to remove him from the governorship in Florida as well. You know, whether that's through supporting an alternate candidate or what, you know, impeaching his ass or something. I don't even know. I, I don't think that's even possible to impeach him in Florida at this point. I think he's got the Republicans have too much of a control in that state. But still, it needs to be fought against. Like, fascism needs to be fought against at all times, at all levels, <laughs> at all levels of government. And that includes the presidency, the governorship, all the way down to your local mayor and school boards. Got to, you have to fight them everywhere. 
because they'll never stop. They'll, they will never stop. They're always, you know, because that's what they want. They, that's what they live for, you know. Their entire goal is to take away your freedom, take away everything that makes this country great, and need to fight against this, uh, you know, in every way that you can, up to and including, you know, voting, <laughs> Direct actions, voting, protesting, the works, spreading awareness, everything. You got to do all of it. Because it, it, it's, and it's a never-ending fight. That's the other thing. You can't just go out and vote every four years and think it's going to be okay. It's like, no. You know? Yeah, it's a never-ending fight. You got to spread, you know, spread awareness. You got to change hearts and minds. You got to get people on your side, right? Be politically active. Because these motherfuckers are, <laughs> they're highly active and, you know, they're fucking winning. Hello folks, if you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon, liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much and see you next time.